Hi, welcome back. Uh, let's see what we can do about our life in general and in particular about how to represent expressions in a better way. So we had this simplistic version of expressions where we had to use a maybe monad in order to evaluate things. So instead Let's see if we can make these type safe by design. So I'm going to change all this expert to T expert. And I'm going to say that these should all come with a type. So I have to say what the type is. And I'm claiming that there are two types that are relevant here. There's the natural numbers and there's the booleans. Right. Okay, and then these things are natural numbers, these things are booleans. It only makes sense to add natural numbers. So these all have to be not. And it only makes sense to do an if then else if this is a bool. But the rest of these things can actually be of any type. Right, so, so for every t I have this constructor. Okay, and then we can look at the examples we had before. And just going to make the T in front of it. And this one looks to be a number. This one also looks to be a number. And this one, well, it's actually nothing, right? Because here I have a number where I'm demanding that I should have a boolean. Uh, so this one doesn't work now by construction. Okay, uh, so let's see if we can define the evaluation function. It should take a typed expression of any type t and give us a value. That's what we had before. But now we can actually make the value depend on whatever type we're at. Right? So we can define a typed notion of value. Where we're saying that tval of not is the natural numbers and tval of bool are the booleans. Right? Okay, and then we actually have to implement this. Uh, so now I'm not putting a maybe here anymore because I shouldn't have to. Because the only reason I had to before was that I was trying to evaluate expressions that didn't make any sense type-wise. Right? So I'm hoping that by putting the types in, I can get away with, with something that doesn't have the opportunity to fail. So let's see if that works. So if we have a number like this, uh, then we have to produce a natural number. And we have a natural number, so we just give that back. And if we have a bit, then we can just give that back as well. Right. Okay, so what about this addition? So before we had to use a do block and something in the maybe monad. But now what do we have here? We have two t expert not. So if I evaluate the first one I with my new function, then I really get a not out, right? Because I know that it's a natural number. So I can just add this directly to what happens if I evaluate the second one and I get the numbers. I don't have to do any of the tedious error handling that I had to do before. Right. And similarly here, if I evaluate the test expression, then I'm actually getting a boolean out. So I can just stick that directly in my f. And then here, evaluate my e prime. T of our e double prime. Uh, so you see that this was actually much simpler now when we had the type information up front. We didn't have to do any of the error handling. And of course, we can do the same tests as before. Um, we must stick some t's in here. Right. Now, this one doesn't make any sense, so we can't do it. Now we don't need a just and we don't need a num anymore. We're just getting the number out. Okay, right. 
stick this on top of the evaluation function. So what have we learned this time? Well, we have learned that we can use an indexed data type to represent typed expressions. Right? So this is indexed by the types, which means that um, we don't need maybe anymore because the expressions don't go wrong by construction. But we're still using pattern matching to, uh, to evaluate these expressions, just that it's, it's now simpler because we don't have to do the error handling.